guys, Becky Schrader here, your Diamond Upline Coach. I just wanted to make you a quick video uh, to show you how to create Facebook groups and how to set the settings on them so that you can determine who sees it and who doesn't and how to basically populate your group before you start adding your clients to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're logged into Facebook and then click on your home page. Once that loads, you're going to scroll down on the left until you see groups, and then you want to click on create group. All right, you're going to give it a name, April Springs Dawn. You have to add one person to the group to set it up, so um, you just pick anyone. I would typically pick one of my coaches or someone that's going to be on my team in the group with me. So in this case, I'll pick one of my coaches. Then you're going to set the privacy. My recommendation is as you are uh, setting up the group and you're not ready yet to add your clients to the group, that you set it as secret. That way it doesn't populate throughout all of Facebook and say, hey, Becky just created this new group, and people start you know, requesting to join before you're ready. So click on secret and then click create. You can then pick an icon. So I pick something, whatever, doesn't really matter. All right, and so now this is your private group. You can see the name says April Spring Slim Down. Um, and then what you wanna do is basically just follow these steps here to populate your group and make it you know, look good before you start adding people. So you might wanna add a description. So click on that. I typically have other um, text that I've saved off in my Evernote. So I'll just copy that. Put the description in there, click save. Now you see that one is picked as green. I've already added the icon and now I want to add a cover photo that looks like what um, my group is going to be about. So I had found this image from a friend. It's uploading. You can you know adjust the spacing of the, of the picture, etc. However you want to do it. So basically just make a, a nice cover photo um, and then click Save Changes. All right, and you should be done then. So now you see this is like, you know, it's, it's empty, but it does have a description, which is good. At this point in time, you can begin to add other people. So if you know who is gonna participate in your group, you can start adding them right away. What I typically do is I make one post in here that says something like you know, a welcome post, you know, welcome to our group. Um, take a look around while we are getting ready to start on Monday, April 6th. Ask any questions and get to know each other. I'm so excited you're here. You know, whatever you wanted to say. Okay, so you make that post, and then that way when people are added to the group, um, they will. this is the first post that they will see. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, once you have it set up like this, I would then recommend adding all of the people that you know are going to commit to your to your group. Just start adding them. This is, they'll get a notification. This is what they'll see. And at some point after the group starts, you may want to change the settings from secret back to closed. So you click on this little three dot icon, go to edit group settings, come down here and you can change anything about it. You can change the name, the icon, the security settings. Um, on these membership approvals, what I would recommend is always having it as any member can add members, but the admin must approve them. That way, if you have somebody who adds an extra participant, you have an opportunity to review it until they just, you know, before they just show up in the group. Um, that's fine. Uh, I always recommend leaving it as members and admins can post to the group because you want your participants to um, be interactive in the group. I don't recommend having to have all posts approved by the admin because then you're going to have to be approving stuff all day long. Okay, then you click save. Save. <laughs> okay, it's been saved. Go back to your discussion, and there you go. That's it. Really, 
These groups are very simple and it's hard to mess it up, but if you guys have any questions, please contact me at fitnesswithbecky at gmail.com and we can talk through it. Thanks. Bye.